Hi everyone, this is just going to be a short video on pulling out highlights from the hair that is transparent paint, Createx. I think it was a mixture of uh, burnt sienna and sepia. This is just to, you know, get the uh, highlights in place so that I could spray over them later. But right now I'm just, I already did it kind of before, but it um, works much better on clayboard when it's really dry. So when you're first painting it, you can't erase the clayboard like this. You know, you have to just kind of work it afterwards. So I did a little bit, and now I'm doing the stronger highlights, the shapes. This is a, a cartoonish version of my wife when she was younger so i am it's stylized or whatever you want to call it and i'm just trying to continue on it to get it to be you know where i want it to be before the darks go in and all that kind of stuff let's create text illustration colors transparent I'm looking for a Tombow. Okay, this is a Tombow that's more shaped like a rectangular shape. That kind of shape. And I'm going to make the tip more. Um, this is taped off here, so I could do this on here. Just a little more wedge-like. I'll show you both sides in a second. Okay. Okay. So that's that. You can have like a point here and then you can work your way around these shapes to make them fatter in the middle. And then I'm gonna cut back in and around and really make the shape like that one when I get to that point. Be right there. Okay, so let's see here. So this one, kind of a rounder shape, so I could probably use this, this type of eraser. It's a soft eraser. Like I said, this is gonna be a short video. I think sometimes they're more popular than the longer ones for watch time. <laughs> From my, you know, analytics and stuff, it seems like people don't watch the whole videos or they speed them up. I don't know. Or maybe they come back to them later. So makes you wonder if they're just gleaning. That's fine, you know, if you just get a little bit of a tidbit of information, I guess. Okay. So the more I pop these shapes out, the more they will be ready for the colors that I'll spray in. And they'll get knocked back into the picture with the actual paint. All right, this is gonna be a little bit more thinner lines. So let's hope this, let's go over the same line a couple times. There's one, there's another one there. And they're just skinnier hairs, you know, just in this section. Like I said, it's all stylized, so it has a realistic look to it, but at the same time, it's cartoonish. A little 
shaking here of the camera. Let me hold that with one hand. This is just gonna go off into the darkness of the background, so I kind of didn't spray a lot in there on purpose. All right, let's see, get my bearings here. So this can come this way a little more. And this is already pulled out nicely. This one here. Just knocking it into a, using the weight of the board for my highlights. Okay. Get this one popped a little more. And what else? It's pretty good there. There's one baby one right here. It's kind of hooked, a little curvy. And then there's a line that's going this way. This one's rounder. Turn the eraser so I get to the, you know, once the eraser gets dirty, you gotta clean it on a piece of copy paper. That's what I do. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe so that if I put something up, you'll be notified and hit the notification uh, bell. If I make it too wide, it doesn't matter because this whole area can be darkened in any way. And right now, I think I'm getting, this is lighter down here. It's not sprayed as dark as that, but these shapes are still there. So I'm gonna just put them in. This is a fatter one right here. Just having them waiting. waiting for the color to go around it. And I don't care about the overspray going on it. The whole idea is to knock them back into the picture. So you have to keep that in mind when you're spraying it. And I didn't even put enough color down here, but I'll pop that out later. But this just gives you a feel of what I've been doing. You know, to get this to be something like a base, you know, underpainting, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that's good. Um, I'll zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it a little better. Let's see. Let me try, let me try the trusty old pink eraser and see if I can get a little bit more of a point. It has a very good friction to it, which means it takes paint off really good, bites into it. And this can go right to the edge almost. Then you, again, you gotta keep cleaning the, the eraser, you know, on your paper. Copy paper, that'll work. And it just goes like that. Getting all these shapes out. One, two, three, more paint, more paint will be here. And get this a little bit lighter. Just to see the shape. There's kind of like a lot of overlapping here. So it's back and forth kind of techniques, you know. Some of these are, some of these are lighter, like this one, just a little bit lighter. 
and that's probably good as far as you know how many I need. And then I then I'm going to work around them, spray into them, and go from there. That might be an aggressive eraser right there. If you want to get like a little tiny shape, as soon as I find one. Okay, so these shapes up here on the forehead would be, that's kind of rectangular. This one is kind of wider, like it is. I'll just take it out more. And then there's a little guy here, it's a point. That will make, I'll make that smaller too when, when I get to that spray in part. Just reshape it, knock some of the color out of here. Follow that line. Some, some erasers you have to get a little more aggressive I don't want to make a lot of marks on the picture, though. You know, when you're using transparency, the aggressiveness of the eraser can play into the actual finished job, and you don't you, ne you don't necessarily want texture, you know, or something rough looking. So that is that. Clean this up a little bit more. It's wider than it really is here, but I'm going to spray into the shape. So that's kind of like sculpting it, you know. I'm gonna back this out and kind of look at the two pictures together there. All right. And that's it for now. Um, yeah, just wanted to show you how I go about that. Um, this is a Monday, this is a Tuesday night feed, uh, live feed coming up on my personal Facebook page where I'll be doing the flesh tones and the eyes. So if you want to jump over to that, it would be uh, Bill Snegan, uh, S-N-E-G-O-N, my personal Facebook page at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, I'll be working a little more on this and then we'll go from there, we'll, you know, back and forth and stuff. But yeah, it's going to be all transparent. And right now the teeth are not her teeth are not drawn in. As you can see, there's just an opening. So they've kind of got erased out. There's bottom lip, top lip. And I have to get um, this accurately placed in there so that it looks like her, you know? And I see a little bit more, whoops, right by the neck area, right in here. Let me erase this eraser, meaning get that graphite off there or a paint rather in this case and then I'll just clean this up a little more some of the overspray has gone on her face and I you know if you start using a small eraser like that you'll end up with streaks but if you use the kneaded eraser which you can flatten out like that you can pull out overspray and what have you, with broad strokes, you know, like that. So that's good also to lighten lines. Let's say over here, we've got line work that we need to take down from being so so dark. Sometimes you gotta push hard and I'm holding the uh, cell phone on its holder, but just to stabilize it because I'm erasing. So I knocked that back. I'll be putting uh, gold tape here and cutting out those shapes. You could use liquid, liquid masking because that's pretty much the weight of the board. It's going to be one up here and about four or five down in this area. And that'll look glowy. And there's going to be a little bit going on over here. All right. So that's what I'm going to be doing as far as the gold tape. That will be very see-through. You just put it on like frisket and you just cut out the shape. I might darken them to find them you know, through the tape and then protect them, spray over them, pop them out later and you get the highlights. All right. So thanks for looking. Take care. God bless you guys. And I'll see you on the next video.